Hi y'all, it's Denise again, and I'm here in my studio working on a couple projects for my What's Underneath uh, class that I'm doing online with my mixed media students. And this one is actually pretty fun and pretty freeing. Uh, we started out with 12 inch by 12 inch watercolor paper, and we're working on four pieces at a time. And um, there's many, many layers. This is all about the layering. So there's five different steps that we've done. And within each of those steps are layers of paper and then paint and sealer and marks sandwiched in between more papers and paint. So we really built up our layers. And the, the uh, tricky part of this is not being attached on where, to where we're going and not being attached to what papers you lay down and learning how to let go of papers and just paint over them. So I'm at the point now where I have gone in and I have found, um, without planning ahead, uh, looking at my papers, turning my board around, and I found a design that I kind of like. So just to kind of get it blocked in, I'm going in with transparent um, full body paint that's mixed in with um, gloss medium to thin it out even a little bit more. And I am using alizarin crimson and I think I might be using cerulean blue here. I'm not really sure. I'll put it in the notes. But um, just sit back and enjoy and watch me uh, just kind of figure my way out of this one. I'm pretty happy with the direction it's going now. So sit tight and let's see what happens. Okay, now that I've got my transparent colors on and I've got a little bit of a design going on, I've got a cup of pomegranates, a bottle with a flower, a coffee cup, um, another plate, I believe. And I'm not really sure, but this just gives me somewhere to start. Now I'm going in with an opaque. I'm actually using a house paint in a very pale green. And I'm going to start covering some things up, things that may have been important when I started, but now that I'm at this point, um, it's time to let some things go and cover them up and continue on and see where this little piece is going to take me. I'm not going to finish this piece in this short video. I'm just giving you an idea of what's happening in my class and how much um, I know I'm enjoying just being free and letting things go, putting them down and letting them go and not being attached to what happens. So uh, again, I'm going to speed it up. So see where this takes us.
I love speeding things up. I love watching things happen really fast in fast time. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you, you could see what, uh, where I'm headed with this piece. There's still more layers to go. I think I may add a few more pieces of paper and paint over them. Um, I'm definitely gonna, going to add a few more glazes and colors over this and uh, maybe section off a couple of uh, blocks of color in the background. I'm not really sure yet, but this is where we wanted to go this week with just layers and layers and getting our design down. So we'll be continuing on these pieces next week, but I wanted to share this because um, it's really a great um, exercise. It's really a great exercise in letting go. And I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you give it a try. Thanks for watching.